All right, so this is not too difficult. We just jumped up. Oh, right. I need three spaces to do two. Sometimes I still make that mistake even all these years later. This is a more arcade version, obviously, and we don't exactly have very much room to maneuver. Um, this helps us in the sense that we can dig a couple of holes and run over the monks and know which direction they're going, and they're not gonna like walk around us like they sometimes do when there's a bunch of surface area. Um, actually, I'm gonna go left first, circle around, and then uh, circle back around to that ladder because that ladder's the only way up, and I did not mean to dig that part out. Um, but also, because of the structure of the level, we're going to have to take advantage of uh, making the monks go in certain directions by confusing or using their pathing AI. Wait, no, I don't want to go there. I want the bombs. It's funny to just see them all walk into the blue monk uh, without realizing they can go down that ladder. All right, so I cannot take out all three of them at once, but what I can do is I can guide them down here and then slowly work my way to the other ladder that I was using earlier. This is an example of how we can use this little bottom area to get around a whole group of monks. And this level really emphasizes doing that. I kind of don't want that blue monk to die because he'll block the um, black monks. Um, see, that's a T intersection on that overhang bar. So the moment I jump down there, all those monks that are acting like idiots will stop acting like idiots and start following me. And then we just have one more piece of gold to get. And then we should be done with this arcade-style world. Wait, what? No! Wait! Oh, I'm so <sighs> That piece of gold blended in with the little undiggable on it, and I didn't see it earlier. Damn it! Now there's a monk that's in the end stretch for the portal and then there's two bunks flanking me here i just made it super difficult to get to the portal i think i can still do this all i have to do is oh no that blue monk's in the way no there's a wall there no. oh, calm down erica you just made one little mistake what you've got to do is just go back and correct it the level's not that hard it didn't take that long <laughs> All right, back to sanity. All right, um, we just have to get past these monks, which shouldn't be too difficult. There's only two of them, so I'm just gonna dig right past them. Super easy. Oh my giddy aunt, that was really mean of that monk. That was really bad. It just teleported right where I was about to. This is okay. Never mind. That's cool. All right. Um, this level is just not going my way. Admittedly, partly it's my fault. I don't like to blame myself because I don't like to ever think I'm wrong about anything because I have an ego the size of a galaxy. But uh, it admittedly it probably was my fault missing that single piece of gold. I think that's a very good uh, point to make, bring up, and that's the fact. That, oh. Before I bring that point up, they're following me up here. So, and now the blue monk's blocking their way out. So, they're gonna get confused and they're not gonna follow me over here and I'm gonna be able to take my time. What was I saying earlier? Right, that's a good point. If you end up missing a gold, it's gonna probably screw you over. So, Keep track of where the gold is and don't miss it. Especially if you can't go back there. This level looks entirely, extremely imposing. All those gold pieces um, that are near the bottom but floating 
are super high up. Well, they're, they're super high up. You have to go in order to start digging to them. And in order to do that, I think I might need to use those spherical bombs that are located in that little middle section of this side. And it would appear that there's a death monk on the left side blocked in by those blocks. So as long as we get what we came for really quickly, uh, the death monk should not be able to pose any more problem for us. Now we've got the bombs. And how the hell are we gonna reach those gold pieces? First, if you didn't have a bomb, this might be rather, more or less, impossible. We have to take out that block that has that guy running away in that corner, but if we're standing on the only other block that we can stand on to dig it out, we're not going to be able to jump over to the piece of gold we originally wanted. And that piece of gold is not currently on a corner, because that guy running is still there. So... We're gonna have to make use of one of our bombs. If we dig a little bit and drop a bomb, we should be able to prepare that block to be destroyed while being in the right position we need to be in to get the gold. With the block destroyed, we can then fall off of it and then make our way out of here. And the bomb gives us plenty of space in which to do um, a multi-dig that we need to. We also get a good view of the back of the level. And we also get a good view of why we can't use that yellow ladder because it goes up to a, pe a block. And if we go up there, we're just gonna get stuck. The only use for that ladder is to get to the right side. So let's take those pieces of gold that are floating in the air. Basic four dig here should work. Now there is an undiggable that is currently blocking our ability to do a mirror version of the dig that we just did, but remember at this point in the game we should know that digs are not necessarily always straight, so we just start the dig a little bit further along and keep taking the same direction we did with the other one. In fact, I would argue that this dig is safer because if you screw it up, you have a corner that you can easily fall off of and try to restart it again. All right, we got one more trip to go up there and how the hell am I gonna reach that? That piece of gold is really far down. We are definitely gonna need to use a bomb. What's most likely gonna happen is that we are going to dig as far as we can without, you know, digging ourselves in a position where the only place to drop a bomb is to kill yourself because remember bombs do explode and you don't want to be next to it when it explodes so we'll have to dig probably we have space to do a five dig we'll need it we would need a six dig in order to get to the gold without a bomb which is almost impossible to pull off quickly enough before the blocks start phasing in so we'll just stick to the four dig which is probably the safest option that we have, and then drop the bomb uh, at, but when we uh, are at the second level. If we drop it when we're any further down, we're gonna kill ourselves. Oh, I hate when I move the move button to, or I dig before I fully move. <laughs> This is the level we want to drop the bomb in. Do not go down another segment or you'll kill yourself. I mean, unless you want to do that, but I don't see why you would. And we have uh, enough space actually to do an even further dig if we wanted to. What we just realized there is that there's enough space available. It's entirely possible that we might have to dig eventually even further than we just did, dug there and maybe another level using spherical bombs. They certainly are the most helpful when it comes to digging further down. 
or also horizontal bombs probably do that too. Horizontal bomb and the gas can probably do that even better. And there is no way to do all of this in one trip. So I'm just gonna grab the little straggler there because that's the only one that I cannot grab as part of the trip to get to the left side and then jump out. And I want to do the left side last because then I can just jump out to the center area from that little column and leave via the exit portal. That was a much more relaxing level. More cerebrally challenging. Now this one takes the cerebrally challenging part of the last level, combines with the arcade version from Rat Race, and then tries to say, you know what, fuck you. Thankfully these monkey bars can be grabbed onto, but I also have a ladder here that I can use. I'll take advantage of the monkey bar grabbing to get these pieces of gold. This level is essentially a multi-layered level, and because it's all one level, you make one mistake and it's back to the start with you. It's sort of unforgiving like that, like certain Banjo-Kazooie worlds. Um, we can swing onto the vines from any one of these points, for example, right here, and we can realize that because I am sweating and worried I'm going to get eaten by a monk, I end up misjudging how much time I have remaining and abandon a piece of gold I could have grabbed immediately. Thankfully, on this level, the extra life is very easy to get. In fact, to get it, you're basically doing the same thing you had to do on the other side uh, with a piece of gold that you're gonna need. It's really, it, it really is a give me, which is good because this level is very difficult. usage of purple monks here makes it possible. Black monks would have uh, made this impossible. Um, blue monks would have made this too easy, but because they're purple monks, you're constantly having to run away from them as they circle around. And this monk here and that monk up there is going to make it very challenging to get all these pieces of gold. Individually, each piece is too difficult to dig to, but combined together, we have to hit every single one of them while dodging the monks, constantly going back and forth. So that's why I'm doing this dig here, so I can knock out two places at once. You really wanna to try to do that, because the fewer times you have to go down to have to face yet another monk in order to go back up again is, oh fuck, what's he doing? Okay, he was just, oh, oh, that's not good. If a monk dies, sometimes they spawn at the top of the world, and then they go down the ladders to get back to where they were supposed to be, which can really mess with things. For example, that monk that just died there, hopefully he won't spawn at the top of the world again. Ah, uh, he didn't. do that. See, I record after I play because the result of me recording whilst I play would be something sounding more akin to what a sailor might say um, on a really bad day. I'm saying they curse a lot. I don't actually know. But, and I wouldn't be playing as well. But even with my ultimate focus, when you're worried about getting eaten by monks, trying not to die, uh, knowing that uh, a single mistake brings you back, sometimes you make dumb moves like that. In hindsight, that was just incredibly stupid, but there's nothing else I can do to fix that. So, I'll just laugh at myself later, not actually on camera. have one more, we only have to go down one more time. I was intentionally avoiding those, uh, avoiding those pieces of gold at the bottom that we could have just run and grabbed, because
because I wanted to fall on to them because I do not want to go to the same place twice if I can avoid it in this map. Another thing to be aware of is your timing when you start digging. If you don't want to be digging, realize that there's a monk right there, have to stop, and in the time that you are stopping, the blocks are going to be phasing back in, ready to trap and kill you, while you're waiting for the monk to get out of the way so it doesn't trap and kill you. Now imagine dying here. You must do want to rage quit. Uh, that guy's coming up soon, and I don't want him to pull that old ladder trick on me. So I'm going to get out of there and just give a little bit more time for myself. If we want to take that monk out, we're going to have to um, wait for him to go to the extreme edge of the area, run up the ladder, dig a hole, and be very fast about it. And we're going to have to do that consistently a couple times so we can get all the gold. Oh my gosh, this level is just a bitch. I should point out that there's a reason this level is, a, is um, a bitch. This is the last jungle world level. After this, the jungle world is over. So this does have a sense of finality to it. We're climbing the tower to the very end. The tower is multi-leveled with many dangers, many different digs we have to do while we're being chased by monks. This is accumulation of jungle world. I figure since I'm already at the top of the tower, I can just to kill the monk anyway, give myself a little bit of breathing room to do the digs that I want. And I'm waiting here because I wanted the monk to get out of the way, but I couldn't just wait for the monk to get out of the way and then jump in because then the block might phase back in and then I would be stuck. And because I'm towards the end, and because I don't want to die towards the end, I'm being overly cautious about what I do and when I do it. Alright, we only have one more trip down there before we can just reach the home stretch. Wait for this monk to get out of the way, dig, and that was actually a bad timing. I want to dig when the monk is on his way, because then by the time I jump down there and get the gold and dig out, the monk should be on his way out of there. So that, now he's right here, we don't want to dig now, but by the time we are in position to fall, he's already walking away. And I probably should have done that a little bit later, but well, at least I didn't die. It would have sucked if that phase back in the moment the monk walked over and I got killed. That would have just made me very, very angry. Some context here. Remember, this is post-commentary. And remember, this is the very last piece of gold before this level is entirely over and Jungle World is over. So, if you're wondering why I'm not committing to making the move and constantly waiting for the perfect opportunity, even though it looks like I already had an opportunity, it's because I'm fucking nervous. So give me a break, damn it. Make sure I don't accidentally kill myself. Hit the right ladder button, don't fall in there. And don't fall off, and I should be. One Doctor Who intro sequence later, we are back at the jump station. I want that extra life again. I'm pretty sure they're back there because of the way the game engine works. I'm pretty sure that items spawn on every level and technically speaking, this is the same level that we were in at the very beginning of the game. It just has additional metadata in the save file that indicates that we've already finished Jungle World. At least I believe that that's what the case is. <sighs> but that's not important in any way. Anyway, let's get some uh, extra lives. I'm gonna kill myself before I get out of here. Nope, I didn't. Never mind, I'm amazing. Next up, we face the jungle 
and we had a distinct lack of triggers, switches, plates, um, trip wires. So let's fix that. Let's go to the extreme end of the spectrum of worlds, to the heavily industrialized industrial world. 